Bonjour tout le monde, je m'appelle Aika and yes that was French because today's video is all about books that take place in France. I spent the last week of my holiday in a beautiful place in France and I wanted to make my video um, linked to that holiday. Um, so I wanted to talk about books that I have read that take place in France. But as it turns out, I have not read anything that takes place in France. So I looked at my TBR and just Got, went on Goodreads and I found six books if I'm correct yep six books that take place in France and that I would like to read and that I would like to tell you something about so be prepared for a journey to the wonderful land of croissants and wine before I start I have not read any of the books that I will talk about so please forgive me if I don't give a 100% accurate description of what the books are about. The first book I want to talk about is A Tale of Two Cities by Charles Dickens. This partly takes place in France during during the um, French Revolution. It's about two men who are very different who both love a girl named Lucy Manette and their like journey takes them from London into the, the wild streets of Paris during the Revolution. Number two is a Movable Feast by Ernest Hemingway. This also takes place in Paris, in Paris of the 1920s, and it is said to be a beautiful like, description of what Paris was like after the, sec after the First World War. But all the creativity and the enthusiasm that all the people who lived there had, and Ernest Hemingway talks about his wife and about other writers like F. Scott Fitzgerald. I haven't read anything by Ernest Hemingway, but this sounds very interesting as I really love Paris, so I'd love to know what it was like in the 20s. Number three is quite an obvious choice, as it is Anna and the French Kiss by Stephanie Perkins. This is a book that I really have to read because everyone seems to love it, and I think it's just a very cute and romantic love story that takes place in one of my favorite cities, Paris. Anna is an English girl who gets shipped off to a boarding school in France, and she meets this handsome boy there, and well, he has a girlfriend and it's all very romantic and cute, I think. Number four is Down and Out in Paris and London by George Orwell. This book follows the adventures of a penniless British writer in London and in Paris, obviously. And as we're used with Orwell, it talks about poverty and society. In the part that takes place in Paris, the British writer works at a dishwasher in very posh French restaurants and I think that would be very interesting to read. Number five is called Riviera Stories by Deborah A. Moffat. I thought it would be nice to add a less well-known book on this list because I had never heard of this book before, um, but I went on Goodreads and I found it and I thought it sounded very interesting. This is a book um, of short stories, if I'm correct, about people that live in uh, Riviera and that are searching for something beyond the glamour and wealth that is in the area. So I think it's a book with a lot of character development and I just love short stories with um, like where characters play a great part. Last but not least we've got The Virgin Blue by Tracy Javalier, which sounds very French. This book is part detective, part historical fiction and I never read any of those genres so I thought this would be very interesting to read. This book is about two women Ella, who moves with her husband to a small French village, and Isabella du Moulin, who lived 400 years earlier, and there are some unexpected threats between these two. So that sounds just very interesting. It's about love and passion, and it's part historical fiction, which is very cool. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this little list of books that take place in France. If you have any other books that take place in France that you really liked or that you really want to read, please leave them in the comments below. And um, au revoir.